Hey guys, I went to Costco.com and found that they actually have the Swagger uh, collapsible folding electric scooter for 280 bucks, roughly, 279 And the good thing is that it came in about two days after ordering it online. I just had to order, I ordered it online at night, however, after seeing that you know, they actually had it. It actually weighs about roughly 15 pounds, uh, but like I said, it got to my doorstep in about two days or so. So thanks, you know, Costco for saying it so quick. Um, basically, it, the, after you take out the main box, it comes with this box, which is more the retail box. It should have what's in the box and everything else like that, which is pretty neat. Uh, and, according to, and with the instruction book, I basically unboxed it really quick. Uh, there really isn't much other than styrofoam. It says it has all these things, but it's missing an Allen key, you know, from all the from that list. Uh, installing it was pretty straightforward. You basically just put it on the handlebars and tighten some things if you had anything loose. But again, I have to get my own Allen key. It didn't come with one, or it didn't come with a set or anything. I just screwed on the handlebars, and that's really about it. And just made sure everything was not loose. Um, I brought my own Allen key and just tightened some parts up that I saw that was tight, that needed uh, tightening, and the alignment of the steering as well. But overall, these things are just hand tight. You know, you can actually twist and take them off. Um, I think that's good and bad. I prefer if it was a folding lever or something that you could just hide. Um, but I just basically started plugging it in and let it charge. This thing is made of carbon fiber, which makes it light at 15 pounds. But it doesn't really seem like it. It's actually very big. Um, it has lithium-ion batteries. When I first got it, it has a cracked uh, piece of, um, I, I think, fender or whatever that is. But it was cracked. It was just supposed to cover, it's like fascia that just covers up that bolt, I think. But it eventually just broke right off. So I just took it off anyways and still, still charged it up. Um, the reason why I got this, here's the charger, you know, but the reason why I got this was because I saw that I, Ionic uh, drive from Hyundai. And I thought, huh, why not get one of these things? So basically it came with almost no power. Powered it up and just made sure all the things worked, the lights work and stuff. And I let it charge for an hour and a half to two hours. Overall, it's not bad. It's a pretty interesting design. And it locks in when folded in. The kickstand was actually loose when it, when it came in, so I just tightened it up. Um, the hub motor is on the front wheel, which is pretty neat. Uh, it makes it heavy, though. The whole stem and sock is where the batteries and the hub is. There is one screw that was not flush, which is weird, and it's at an angle. So, can't really fix that. Some of the screws were, you know, I just, just checked on the screws to make sure that everything was relatively, you know, was secure and tight. The rear brake barely, you know, touches the entire thing and seems kind of flimsy. Um, there's the power supply and, yeah, basically I just charge it up. It goes from um, red as in charging and green is, is done. So, it has several gears, one to f zero to five. Zero is basically no assist and then one goes all the way to like six miles per hour at full throttle and then uh, gear two see as you can see basically it just moves the thing I just did, this is dry run with no with no load at all uh, but basically one goes to six miles per hour and then gear two as they say full throttle goes to eight or nine and then um, gear three goes to roughly I think it was like um, let's, let's go let's find out to about I think 12 or so but I went through the gears and basically all up to the fifth gear. So the fourth gear goes to 15, and the fifth gear I think goes to 18. So let's go ahead and try it out. Yeah, 18 miles. But on the real world, I, if you look at the that 288, that's 28.8 uh, volts. So that's the volt volt meter that it has right now. So when you first fully charge it, you get 28.8. But once it gets down to about 20. Uh, 24 or 23, it's, it loses all its charge. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'll show you the next video uh, on this one. But there's just a op box opening, uh, unboxing, and just a testing of everything after it's charged up. But yeah, it's actually very bright, but it's very wide light. The rear tires and rear brake, it doesn't really hold or stop much because when it goes down, it only touches that tip part, which is kind of messed up. I think if it had a little bit more contact, it would actually slow this tire down a little. I did bring it out into my alleyway and just try it out really quick uh, to make sure everything moved and worked after the charge. So it was pretty interesting. Um, I don't think that piece of plastic had anything to do with the performance of the thing, so I don't really care. Uh, but overall, yeah, it's a pretty awesome design. It is pretty big, and that screw you know, that I found out, it doesn't really do much of anything, so I just let it be. 
Um, but yeah, overall it's pretty cool. It's fully charged again once it's green, so it's not bad. The messed up thing is that the menu system is messed up. So regular cycling of that power button cycles through distance, odometer, voltage, and things like that. But to get to the system menu to change the um, like manual modes and cruise control, you have to actually press both of those buttons, the side buttons, and then go into that mode. And it goes from one, it's like binary, or one or two or three or whatever, or the time. So you could change from kilometers to miles per hour, which I did in the second one. And But you definitely need the manual. They don't have any, It doesn't. it's not very intuitive. This is when it t powers off. So I put it 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes. It goes up to an hour, I think. Um, or zero, so I just put five minutes or so. On four, I think it was, you need the manual to actually just figure out what this was. I think that was um, manual start, and then five was like cruise control, you know, whether you want to have it preset to a certain cruise level. And six was, um, I, I remember it was something else, I don't, I don't remember if it was. But it was kind of complex because you need the manual to read it, um, to actually figure out what the heck these, these settings were, which makes it confusing. But I was I love just seeing the voltage because then you know how much um, what the battery life is. So in the manual, it basically shows what each of those things are, and you have to basically look at the manual to actually do it and compare it. So tomorrow there is a charge port on the bottom. It's right at the stem. I'm gonna bring it out tomorrow and tune in next time to see a test drive of this thing on the beach and stuff. See ya. Bye. -bye. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks a lot for watching. See you.